Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I tie my turban. Firstly, before I get into it, let me say that there isn't a right or wrong way as to how to tie a turban. It's all down to personal preference. There's many different styles, shapes, sizes, widths, lengths, patterns, you name it. It's all down to personal preference. Firstly, I want to talk about the length and the width and the material of my turban. The length that I usually go by is five meters at least. Width would be about um, a meter or less. And the sort of material that I use, I tend to go for thinner material and materials that are softer. Again, it's up to your personal uh, preference. Try out everything you can, experiment, see what you find more comfortable, see what you like. When I say five meters, five meters for me might be good. Whereas for you, it might not be good enough. It might not be long enough. We all have different shape heads and different size heads. So five meters for me is plenty. Whereas for you, you might have a considerably larger head or smaller head. So that turban might either look a lot smaller or a lot bigger on you. So once again, try it out, see what you find comfortable. For me, I always say to people, it's not about the length, it's about the lars or layers. I have about six or seven layers, which is a good amount. I say five layers is the lowest you should go, and 10 layers is like the most I would go, personally. But then again, it's all down to personal preference. So try it out and see what you feel comfortable with and whatever you like. There is no right or wrong way. This is just my personal preference, and I'm showing you how I like it. Now, before I tie my turban, I actually wear a bandana, also known as a potka, underneath my turban. Basically, what this does is it allows me to have more grip. Basically, my turban doesn't budge, it doesn't move, it doesn't shift. It remains on there intact, steady, all day, without any problems. I found that wear not wearing a potka underneath, my turban would move a lot, it would shift, it would slip, it would fall off very, very easily, and I had to be very careful. Um, so try it out if you also find that a problem with you. And um, once again, it's all down to personal preference. So my turban that I'm going to be using to tie is already folded, but I'm going to try and explain how I fold it using this turban. Usually it takes two people to fold a turban. Basically, I'm going to try and explain it. So if it isn't clear, I do apologize. So what you want to do is you want to have each individual hold the two corners of the width of the turban and stand far back away from each other as you can so that the turban, the length of it has a lot of tension. And also you are going to want to pull onto the corners of each and stretch it out as far as you can to also keep the tension and fold up the edges together and keep folding it maintaining the tension until you get to your desired width that is a good width but you can even fold it again to personal preference even that's a perfectly good width so try it out experiment see how you like it you can even fold it like three quarters of a way and then fold it again so it's all down to your personal preference and a quick tip that I think does me wonders is to keep your turban looking extra crisp and extra sharp and clean. I would say after you fold it, iron your turban. I found that to be a complete game changer and really made my turban look that extra, extra crisp. So I have the turban, I'm gonna show you how I tie it. I would say have the turban resting on a seat or on a stool or some kind of cushion as a sign of respect because you don't want it to be touching the floor. So me personally, you know when you fold it and you can see the fold right here, this goes downwards, it face downwards and this is facing upwards because for me I found that it looks a lot more clean, it looks a lot more crisp. Okay, I can hear the police sirens, so I'm just gonna let the police go past. Okay, it was the ambulance, it wasn't police. So yeah, I'm gonna be looking this way because my mirror is here and I've got a mirror there. So if you see me looking that way a lot, it's because there's a mirror. So this is how you do it. You put it around you like this and it goes diagonally down, across, diagonal. And as you bring it across, that's gonna be slightly lower than your first layer. So as you bring it across, it's gonna go slightly higher than your first layer. And the key to a very tidy and neat turban is keeping the layers the same width apart, which is difficult to do. But once you've mastered that, your turban will look so much more clean and crisp. And even me, I've been tying this for 10 years and even now I haven't mastered it. So lower, and when you go across, uh, the distance between the layers is the same. Round. And basically we're just gonna keep doing this until um, we finish. And even the back, it just keep going across. This is where it meets and goes across. So we're onto the last layer. So once again, it's lower than that, and then it goes up higher. If you have excess material, you can cut it off, it's not a problem. 
um, or you can just tuck it away like that. So there you go, there's your turban and to finish it off, you get the very first layer. So that's the first layer that you hold on to. But you get from the top here and making sure that this doesn't disappear, you pull this up. But you make sure once again this doesn't disappear. And then what you're going to want to do is, you want to spread that out, unfold it, tuck it in and around your turban so then it covers the top. And then using this, you want to pull it to tighten it a little bit. There you go, it's tightened up. Fold that over underneath the back. And I think we're done.